Boss Man Show, friend of the show, Coach Greg Gary. Mercer Barry is so kind. It's never on the year. Coach Gary, good to talk to you again. How's it going on the road and making there, man? Oh, everything's good. Everything's real good. Appreciate you having me on. Coach, I'm proud of your team, man. I was telling Craig off the air, man. I, I was so proud of what you guys did, made the run you made in the SoCon tournament, winning three games, fighting against UNC, UNC Greensboro the way you did, a tough team. But just talk about your guys, how they fought hard during that tournament, man, and showed really what the Bears are about going forward, man. Yeah, I thought it was progress. I really was, I thought we, um, you know, had some good progress last year. And then this year to be able to be in the championship game, uh, is, is, is a good sign. Um, and what, what was, I was really proud of them. I mean, to, to play four games in four days and have a chance, you know, going down the wire, uh, was big. And, and I think the great, the great thing about it, I don't know if it's great, but it's a good sign. When I went in that locker room after the UNCG game, uh, I could feel their disappointment without having to say anything. Um, and just, I could see it on their faces where, you know, we're, we're that close and there was a lot of disappointment, which, which was, which is, it's good to see. It means they care. And coach, your team is pretty much back next year. You know, you have a retro senior on your roster. So pretty much you may have some of these guys for an extra year beyond because of the, the rule here. So your roster is pretty much intact for the most part. And you can grow and develop really the way you want to, because those guys are young. You may have them an extra year as well to keep that train going for you guys. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I, I really am. That's something I'm, everybody's going to be in that boat. Uh, but but I feel pretty secure in, you know, pretty much everybody coming back. Um, you know, so that, that again, is can, because of the, the way we ended and the way it, it hurt us, I think that's going to carry over to the off-season, summer, uh, getting in the weight room, just, just having that extra little uh, motivation there should be big for us. And, you know, playing a team like West Miller's team is a tough team. You know that, that they've been winning your conference all kind of ways all these years, man, playing really well. See your guys, young as they are, compete the way they did against them. Played them earlier this year and still competed and gotten better. Because sometimes, yes, it's, it's winning losses, but guess what? You saw progress from when you played them earlier in the year to you played them in a championship game. Only fourth day in a row playing. So that showed your guys' heart what the what it was about because a lot of guys will tap that say, my, my, legs are, my, my legs are done. But they still competed hard. That's how to win that game, actually. Yeah, no, they, they did. And that was one thing we really didn't talk about. You, you don't have time to talk about it. Um, you know, it's it's a mindset, um, and you're in the championship game, so you 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 ain't got you don't have time to be tired because uh, because you're ultimately going you know to play in the NCAA tournament, which is our goal here. Um, you know, so it, it, I do think our our teams, our guys get better uh, as we continue throughout the year. Which again, that that's what you want. You want playing your best basketball in in March. Um, that that's what it's about. So. Uh, for our guys to be able to, it was a very odd uh, and a hard season in a lot of regards. Uh, so for them to be able to keep their attitude and keep their togetherness, um, it, it says a lot about them as individuals. And Coach, what was also great about your team this year, I watching it from afar, was that you guys play a lot of close games as well. So you got, you don't learn to win close games by playing in close games, right? Dealing with that live pressure. You can put time on the clock to practice and do it in practice, but guess what? See, you're actually playing against the other team in the other jersey in a real situation like that, you don't really learn, learn it the way you learn it the right way where you wouldn't practice. So talk about that, Coach, how you guys play those close game games and that adversity that those guys learn that and get that callous to win when it's tough. Yeah, that's something that the good teams you you find a way to win those, uh, and you hit it on the nose. You got to experience it. You got to go through it, um, and that's something our guys did do. Uh, they 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 won in different ways, getting up big, losing the lead, then figuring out a way to win, uh, down big, then figuring out a way to come back and win. So we we learned how to win in different ways, which. Um, you know, good teams that that's you, you learn how to do that. Some some of it's luck. You know, you, you need a little luck, but I think luck is also in your preparation and your attitude and your poise and your togetherness. I think if you have all those things, I think you become luckier. And I think also for you two coaches, you when you beat Wofford. In that tight game, again, another tight game. You know, it's like your guys came out against VMI, just played like, oh, hey, 
we, we, hey, we got that close on the day. We ain't a little bit looser in my mind because VMI, so you get ready. So I like that third day that I was I'm like, wow, they, they beat them. They, they got up over Guadalajara, a tough team in the, in the league. But guess what? Came back next day a little bit more relaxed. And did you just feel that from your guys who, as you coach that game, seeing your guys a little bit more looser than it was against Guadalajara? Uh, yeah, I, yeah, I, I think so. I think, um, um, I, I, I do think that Wofford's defense, uh, a little bit more aggressive, uh, try to speed you up a little bit. Uh, BMI just played the night before and beat Furman. That was a big win for them. Um, you know, so I think they they were a little bit slower, a little bit sluggish uh, from that. But our guys did a, did a really good job of, you know, I think just feeling like, hey, we, we're, we're going to – we got to get this one done and we're going to be in the championship game. Most definitely, and I, I just feel like you know, coaches like you did, like you said, man, those young guys seeing that what they did this time around, I think is gonna be your best thing you can ever do is, as a foundational piece, as you said, for spring, summer, fall, getting ready, and and hopefully with things getting better in our country with those vaccines and the virus, they can actually be in making with you guys more than usual, so you can actually get on court development, skill development, get them bigger with you all there, not doing it on their own at home like they did last year. Yeah, it's a huge difference, and you know that. I mean, it's being able to have them here with our coach, strength conditioning coach, uh, you know, making sure they're getting the meals they need to, making sure they're getting the supplement, the extra work. It's going to be a big, big off offseason. Um, and we had to get used, like Mercer's not been in the SOCON, especially the tournament situation. That's something they've never done before. So to be able to uh, come together and, and learn how to – get there and to fall short a little bit to get that. That's a sick feeling. There's not a, I mean, and that to me, um, I think is going to resonate and, and sit in them for a while, which it's still sitting in me. It's still sitting in our staff. So to be that close, and not finish it. Uh, that that's something we got to, we got to, that's got to be motivation. Oh yes. And I think what you can say is a, in the weirdest year we ever going to probably have ever 1811 and, being a, in a mid-major conference where you are, having that big of a gap between wins and losses means something, you know, because, <laughs> you know, he's, you, when you, in your conference, you got to go play by games and play different high-level competition. The fact that you got 18 wins, knowing what you had to go through, knowing your league, you got to feel good about that as you build a skill until you build your culture here at Mercer from here on out. Yeah, it, it's good. I want to we, – we, we coaches aren't happy. I wanted – I wanted – we, we should have won a few more. Um, and our, and our, guys, our guys would admit that, too. Uh, some, some games we didn't have it, and those are the ones you got to find a way to win. So there's always room for growth. Uh, but I feel good about this year, especially the way we ended it, uh, you know, to have 18 wins and continue to progress and continue. I think we made strides from last year. Most definitely. And, Coach, your confidence year, man, I feel like, once again, as well, I talk about this every year, but I'm just being real about SOCOM basketball is hard. And no easy nights. And this is no different because, like you're saying, playing with the back-to-back -back -to -back schedules, being changed, uh, playing, not knowing who you're playing week to week. The fact that up and down the league, the games were tight, not too many blowouts. And let's talk about how the depth of your league and how the talent pool is getting better and better in your conference. And that people need to realize that SOCON has a lot of great coaching, a lot of great players, a lot of great talent. They will be playing whether or not the NBA or nationally as well. Yeah, that's uh, it, it's it's evident in the the rankings of our conference on uh, the RPI the latest the last RPI our conference was ranked the ninth best conference in the country uh, where I think there's 30 plus conferences um, so I, I think that really you know says a lot about our coaches uh, and our teams and our in our league that's why I was attracted to this job in the first place because I, I thought the league is very very good great basketball league um, so, um, yeah, it, it, it's, uh, we've got good coaches, good players and, um, you know, it's, it's, it's been shown well and, uh, we keep moving up that ladder. We'll, we'll hopefully get to a point where, you know, they're not just taking the conference tournament winner. Uh, they're, they're getting in that, we're getting in that large bit. So that's, that's our goal. And hopefully we can keep doing that. Coach Gary, thank you for your time as always, buddy. I'm, I know I'm a big fan of your team. You know, I cheer for you guys all the time, man. So I always get cheer for a Georgia team. So I'm happy to see you do well. And I'll be also banging the drum for you and cheering for you from here on out, buddy, as you already know. I appreciate it, JR. Thanks, man. Thanks for having me on.
In town, buddy. Be safe now. Talk to you real soon, buddy. Thank you. You too. See ya. All right.